Hello, I'm Lieutenant Denny Corbett with the Riverside Police Department. I'm assigned to the Special Operations Division and oversee our tactical teams and other special teams responsible for the use of specialized law enforcement equipment, determined under Assembly Bill 481 to be military equipment. This presentation is being produced to provide members of the community and others a description of our specialized equipment. This video will also explain the need for and use of our specialized equipment to minimize risk and enhance officer and public safety. The specialized equipment we will be discussing and the specifics of AB481 can be found under Riverside Police Department Policy 705. The policy has two attachments which include the military equipment inventory and the military equipment fiscal impact document. All the equipment being discussed and being presented has already been approved for use by City Council. The vast majority has been in use for several years and has been used successfully during police incidents on several occasions. Prior to the acquisition of any new specialized equipment, an equipment proposal needs to be presented to and approved by City Council before use. The specialized equipment we have in our inventory has helped resolve extremely hazardous and dangerous incidents on numerous occasions. The specialized equipment has mitigated the need for use of deadly force and has provided additional layers of protection for citizens, law enforcement personnel, and other first responders. This specialized equipment can and has reduced city liability during a variety of critical incidents. The specialized equipment currently in use is necessary to help contend with the high level of violence enforcement throughout the country. In addition, the equipment can be essential in providing additional support during natural disasters, acts of terrorism, and can provide safe transportation of medical personnel and victims to help save lives. The Riverside Police Department and City of Riverside will hold an annual community engagement meeting. The meeting will afford the community the opportunity to have questions addressed pertaining to the specialized equipment currently in use. Over the next several minutes, you will hear from members of our SWAT team who are department experts and will provide an overview of each piece of specialized equipment approved for use by the Riverside Police Department. I will be discussing command and control vehicles built or modified to facilitate the operational control and direction of public safety. Command and control vehicles are built in various platforms to include half-ton pickup chassis, SUVs, vans, trailers, and RV-style configurations. They are designed with additional communication abilities, computers, whiteboards, lighting, generators, and critical supplies. These vehicles are built to serve as mobile command posts or coordination of police, fire, and medical response during enforcement operations, fires, natural disasters, mutual aid incidents, and other public safety incidents. I'll be discussing unmanned and remotely piloted powered vehicles. Remotely piloted machines operating on the ground or in the air, such as drones and robots, are utilized to enhance the safety of community members and officers. Indoor drones are utilized to scout inside structures using a day or night infrared sensor camera. Drones can locate barricaded suspects or victims in need of rescue inside a residence or a commercial structure. Robots are small, tracked, and remote controlled. These are utilized to scout areas which may not be safe for personnel. The robots can locate suspects who are barricaded or victims in need of rescue inside a structure or open areas through the use of a camera. Unmanned aerial systems or aerial drones are law enforcement specific and are used for open terrain or large field searches and to assist in high-risk apprehensions of armed or violent suspects. Aerial drones are also used as an interior search tool to locate barricaded suspects or victims in need of rescue inside a residence or a commercial structure. UASs are also used to locate missing children, at-risk adults, and lost or injured hikers. Remote operated vehicles are tracked remotely operated vehicles used to render safe and dispose of hazardous or explosive devices. ROVs are also used in high-risk environments to increase safety for officers during barricaded subject incidents and reconnaissance of hazard, hazardous circumstances.
I will be discussing armored vehicles. Our ARVs are commercially produced, wheeled armored personnel carriers utilized for law enforcement purposes. Armored personnel carriers are ballistic engineered armored rescue vehicles utilized during high-risk tactical enforcement operations, officer rescues, civ civilian rescues, and vehicle-borne intervention. Additional deployments are used during criminal unrest and riots. Rescue vehicles provide ballistic safety during containment and apprehension of armed violent suspects to include active shooters and hostage rescues. Rescue vehicles provide numerous safety capabilities for law enforcement, victim rescues, and overall community safety. The armored rescue vehicle is also four-wheel drive and may be deployed in a natural disaster for medical aid or community rescue missions. I'll be discussing tracked vehicles and vehicles with breaching or entry apparatuses attached. Vehicles which have attachable metal booms that can be used for breaching structures, fences, or ramming objects during high-risk incidents to include active shooter incidents, on school grounds, or commercial buildings, which are often difficult to breach. Certain department vehicles, including the armored personal carrier, have the ability to attach a breaching apparatus. The TACCAT is a tracked, bullet-resistant caterpillar tractor driven and deployed during high-risk tactical operation. It has various hydraulic boom attachments, including a claw, chemical agents, dispersal box, and ram and extension. It offers the ability to safely breach reinforced structures to locate and apprehend barricaded suspects and rescue victims. I will be discussing battering rams, slugs, and breaching apparatuses that are explosive in nature. Specialized devices which are designed to quickly breach doors and other points of entry for locating and apprehending barricaded suspects, rescuing victims, or gaining entry to fortified structures during emergency circumstances. Breaching shotgun is a short-barreled shotgun which fires frangible shotgun ammunition, utilized to breach doors and points of entry on fortified doors and structures. The specialized rounds are used to impact doorknobs, hinges, and locks. Breaching shotguns are quick and effective breaching tools to aid in the immediate entry into a location for hostage rescue or other immediate response needs. The kinetic breaching tool, or KBT, utilizes a proprietary 45 caliber handgun blank to deliver force through a hardened steel ram. Unlike the explosive or a shotgun breaching, all the force is mechanically driven through a ram. This means that no projectile leaves this device. The ramming surface is narrow enough to focus on a single hinge, yet powerful enough to breach se steel security screen doors. The tool is operated by a single user and utilized to breach heavily fortified doors by compromising doorknobs, hinges, and locks. The KBT is especially effective for breaching heavy commercial doors of the kind found in schools and other industrial applications, for example, during an active shooter or other emergency. I will be discussing specialized firearms and ammunition including assault weapons defined under Penal Code 30510 and 30515. The weapons I will be discussing are included on this inventory in the interest of transparency. However, they are exempt under Government Code 7070 as standard issue service weapons. So AR style rifles are lightweight, magazine fed, gas operated semi-automatic rifles using 5.56 millimeter and 223 caliber ammunition and are authorized for use by trained officers. Fully automatic rifles are only assigned to trained SWAT personnel. The rifle is utilized for increased accuracy and precision shooting at longer distances. The MP5 submachine guns are magazine fed semi or auto fire pistols which fire 9 millimeter handgun ammunition. This weapon is only assigned to trained SWAT personnel. An MP5 is utilized for increased accuracy and precision shooting at longer distances.
I will be discussing flashbang grenades and explosive breaching tools. Light sound diversionary devices, also known as flashbangs, are diversionary devices used to minimize risk to all parties through the temporary distraction and disorientation of armed and violent suspects who pose a significant danger to officers and the community. The effects of an LSDD reduce a suspect's reactionary capabilities by causing momentary disorientation, which can create a tactical advantage for involved officers. LSDDs are hand-delivered, site-deployed, and generally deployed on the exterior of a structure. LSDDs can be utilized to humanely deter aggressive dogs who pose a threat to officers or attempt to elicit a response from suspects who may have barricaded in a structure or vehicle. Other examples include waking up a sleeping suspect or prompting a suspect to communicate with officers. <clears throat> Explosive breaching tools are utilized to breach fortified structures to establish a point of entry. Explosive charges are fashioned to produce little to no fragmentation at the time of detonation. Explosive breaching effectively reduces the time spent overcoming a fortified door or structure. The reduction in time mitigating a hardened structure increases in officer safety and the element of surprise. Blast injuries are reduced by using low yield explosives that mechanically overcome door frames and locking mechanisms. I will be discussing tear gas and pepper balls. Chemical agents rapidly produce sensory irritation or disabling effects in humans which typically disappear within a short time following termination of exposure. CS can be deployed through various means to include hand delivery and weapon launchable such as a 40 millimeter and shotgun. Hand delivered chemical agents are typically delivered in a burn safe metal container to reduce fire hazard. CS is typically used during incidences where a suspect is barricaded in a structure or vehicle and is believed to be armed. CS may also be used in riot incidences to prevent violence and destruction of property. The discomfort caused by the chemical agent will typically cause the suspect to exit a structure or vehicle or dissuade a suspect from remaining in the area of the chemical agent, thus resulting in safer compliance. Pepper balls contain oleoresin capsicum powder, which is encased in a plastic ball-shaped projectile, which is propelled from a launcher powered by compressed air. The effects of a pepper ball are similar to the effects of pepper spray, typically character characterized by temporary irritation to the eyes, nose, and throat. Discomfort may also be experienced at the point of impact. Pepper ball systems may be used in a variety of situations, including barricade suspects, suspects exhibiting violent behavior, and in riotous or criminal behavior by suspects in a group. The LRAD is an acoustic device used for emitting amplified public announcements during warrant services barricaded suspects, civil disturbances, or tactical operations. The loud audible technology ensures broadcasting announcements are loud and clear while offering advantages over less amplified patrol PA systems. The OLED may be used for public announcements or safety advisements during natural disasters, evacuations, or dispersal orders. The OLED is portable and can be used for criminal unrest or writing to provide clear dispersal orders for unlawful assembly. The ORAD can also be used as an announcement system during tactical operations such as barricaded suspect or hostage situations. The amplified sound would allow louder and clearer announcements to ensure the occupants can hear them. I will be discussing 40 millimeter projectile launchers, beanbag, rubber bullets, and specialty impact munitions. The less lethal 40 millimeter launcher has several munitions which are configured for high and low impact. Munitions have an additional benefit as a barrier round for breaking vehicle and residential glass so chemical agents can be deployed. These options include direct impact OC CS round as well as CS ferret round. Wood baton rounds are typically utilized for breaking out glass. 40 millimeter less lethal exact impact sponge rounds can be effective in disarming violent suspects, armed suspects, and subjects who are suicidal with minimal injury and risk for the person, law enforcement, or the public. 12 gauge less lethal shotgun is a marked orange easily identifiable less lethal shotgun. The beanbang round is a small drag stabilized 
pellet filled munition made of high density cloth. The bean bag is a predecessor of the 40 millimeter less lethal, which has similar benefits as other less lethal platforms. Steam ball grenades are hand deployed to deliver small rubber projectiles in no specific direction. Infrequently used and deployed, however, may be used on violent combative subjects or hostage rescue scenarios are criteria for consideration and use against suspects. Steam balls may be used in a large scale riotous behavior to prevent destruction of property or injury to the public.